Okay, so we got a very, very small teaser for Doom Eternal at the Games Award 2019. Most of it we've seen before, it didn't really showcase too much, especially on the gameplay side. But still, there was a few things definitely worth mentioning here. For me, it's actually what is being said in the trailer that is the most important thing here. Because throughout the trailer, there is someone talking about the Doom Slayer. It's definitely a familiar voice, it's the same person from the story trailer back in E3. And of course, the, the original voice that we heard right way back at Doom 2016, when we first got to play as a Slayer awakening from his tomb. Okay, if we compare this to what we heard back at E3, then this time this entity or this person is definitely with the Slayer instead of against them. Because we heard that this entity was talking about bringing down the Heaven's Wrath on the Slayer, but this time it's actually a much different story and we get to see what the full text is here on the official Doom Twitter page. So let's have a look at what is being said during this teaser trailer. Against all the evil that hell could conjure, all the wickedness that mankind can produce, we will send to them only you. I love this statement. First of all, it just showcases how powerful the Slayer really is. He can take on pretty much anything that hell, mankind, or any other entity can throw at them. And more importantly, this entity here is definitely on the Slayer side at this point. Now, I definitely think there's going to be some kind of betrayal here where the Slayer is going to have to go against whoever this is, which I'm pretty sure this is something to do with the person that gave him his powers in the first place or of course this could be an angel that's been corrupted by hell as well because I'm pretty sure we know that we will be going against the angels at some point in doom eternal as well as hell and of course by the looks of the statement the humans as well so we know humans of course mess with the power of the Argent energy anyway but this statement tells me they're actually planning other things here as well so maybe some of these new demons that we're seeing are actually sort of maybe like hunting demons created by the USC to stop the Slayer because obviously we knew they was messing around with this sort of thing back in Doom 2016 but in this new game like they said this new cyborg looking like enemies like the carcass and of course the new looking Hell Knight these things are pretty cyborg so they're more like half demon half robot enemy like things so there's definitely more messing around by the USC here of course as well and you know they're definitely getting into the wrong side of the Slayer when they need to actually have an alarm saying the, the Slayer is in the facility. So they know they're doing something wrong here, so definitely against what the Slayer is trying to stop. But to me this statement actually says that we might be going against humans in a different way because although the Slayer didn't agree with the humans in Doom 2016, we didn't really go against them apart from Olivia Pierce, of course. So this time I feel like there's going to be a whole board of USC that we will be fighting this time. We know there are like USC cultist members from some of the concept art that we've seen. So maybe this time we will be going against a huge group of these and maybe that's the whole reason the Doom guy is on Earth in the first place, just to stop these. Not to save Earth, just to stop the USC from pretty much doing what they do all the time, which is of course pretty much extinction of the human race. So yeah. I just love this statement, it really showcases how powerful the Slayer really is. All the demons, all the humans, they only need to send a Slayer and they know they're going to deal with the problem because the Slayer is an unstoppable force of extreme anger and power that's just unstoppable to anything in his way. From Cyber Demons to actual Titans, you know you're not going to kill the Doom Slayer. Okay, so there's just one other thing actually in this trailer that I think is worth mentioning and is actually a concern and that is to do with the Slayer's suit. It looks like they have changed this again to actually grey out the Slayer's face. Because we got to see from the actual gameplay a close up look of the Slayer and we can't see his face anymore. Hopefully this is just a exclusive thing for the teaser trailer or maybe there's an option in Doom Eternal itself to grey out the face for the players that don't want to see it. But to me it's always been a main part of the Doom games to actually see the Doom Slayer's face. We saw it in Doom 1, 2 and 3. Doom 2016 was the first not to do this. There was a few gameplay trailers where we actually briefly saw his face. But mostly it was greyed out and you could barely see what he looked like underneath his helmet. And it looks like in Doom Eternal they were going to sort of change this so we could see what the Doom Slayer looked like. And he looks very similar to what he did in the original games. But here we can't see his face at all and it's gone back to where it was in Doom 2016. So hopefully this is just a one-time exclusive thing for this trailer or once again like an option to change because personally I'd just love to see his face. I know there was kind of a bit of a backlash going along when we saw his face because a lot of people 
was sort of confused that we could now see his face through the helmet. I mean, the people that probably played Doom 2016 first may never knew or really cared about you could see his face in the original games. But for me, that said, that's the main part, and I really do hope that this is just for this trailer or there is a way that we can see his face in normal gameplay. So basically, that was the two main things that I took from this teaser trailer. We now know there's going to be centered weapons as well, so that's really awesome as well. I can't wait to check that out in the new game. But for the rest of the teaser trailer, nothing new was really showcased. It kind of reminded me of the deluxe edition trailer that we saw. And we saw loads of cyber demons and arch files all standing together. This was kind of showcased again here. We didn't get to see hardly any new gameplay at all. In fact, it was just basically just like a couple of glory kills at the end and I think the final close out picture was the Doom Slayer grabbing onto a Cyber Demon with the meat hook, which is pretty awesome, I can't wait to do that in the game, but that's all that we saw really in the rest of the trailer. So anyway, what did you think of this little teaser trailer, was it worth it? Of course, what do you think of the Slayer's now face being grayed out, do you think this is actually going to be in the main game, or is it just for this teaser? And if it is for the main game, what do you think of it now being grayed out, do you prefer it that way, or do you think the Doom Slayer's face should be shown? Let me know in the comments down below and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.